Hello and welcome to a short guide on how to become a horde playing as Ryukyu. Ryukyu has an achievement in EU4 called the Three Mountains, which is considered one of the hardest achievements in game. I personally think it is one of the top three hardest achievements in game, with True Air of Timur and Eteor Greens being the other two. Ryukyu starts as a one province island miner and to complete the achievement, you need to do a world conquest. It is super hard. However, the achievement has been done a lot of different ways over the years. And currently, one of the easiest ways to do it is by becoming a shogunate and keeping a swarm of daimyos. Daimyos don't occupy a relation slot, so you can have a lot of them and they count as vassals eligible for world conquest. There is another way that makes this achievement slightly easier and that's by becoming a horde. As you might know, hordes are excellent for quick conquest runs. And playing Ryukyu as Horde definitely makes World Conquest easier than playing as a regular monarchy. There are actually a couple of different ways to become a Horde as Ryukyu and we will look at both of them today. The first one is using a well-known exploit in game. This is a clear exploit, a bug in game. And I don't usually like using exploits like this one, but given the difficulty level of this achievement, I think it's okay to use an exploit here. I got the idea for this exploit horde method when watching Flurry Worry. And I'm sure everyone here knows who Flurry is, but if you are new to EU4, he is one of the best players in game and he makes some great content. I'll leave a link to his channels in description, do check him out. So he used this exploit to turn Ryukyu into a horde and tried to complete the Three Mountains achievement in one sitting in about 15 hours, which is absolutely insane. But if anyone can do it, it's him. So let's look at how this strat works. We start with improving relations with Zhangzhou and Korchen at the start. You need to ally both of them. You should be able to royal marry and ally Zhangzhou, while you will need to build your army to force limit and hire the plus one deplorep guy to royal marry and ally Korchen. Now get your army to the northern province of Korchen bordering Buryatian. Next, declare a no CV war against Haichi, co belligerent Buryatia, and call Janju and Korchen to arms with promise of land. I'm going to use console commands here to show the strategy in this video, but you can win the war with the help of your allies fairly easily. So we full siege Buryatia and we vassalize them. Then start improving relations with the new vassal. After that, you can offer Haishi to force religion on you. This will give you a bit of revanchism, which is helpful. And now your state religion is Tengri, which is what we need. Keep improving relations with Baryatia and also knowledge share with them and develop the gold mine province to bring their liberty desire below 50. Once they're loyal, seize province of Kirenka from them, core it, state it, and full core it. Then we will declare war on Baryatia. Yes, you will suffer a lot of war exhaustion and stab hits, but it's okay. We will full annex Baryatia in this war. Now accept Baryat culture and culture flip to it. Start coring just the gold mine province. You can wait a bit for war exhaustion to decay if you want. Once the core is completed, you can shift your capital to the gold mine province. Then sell Okinawa, your original capital, to Korea. You might have to give it away for free or for very cheap. It doesn't matter either way. All this time, make sure you don't take any tech and just keep developing the gold mine province. It will be a good starting base later on. And now comes the exploity part. Click on the release nation, release Bariatia, check on play as released vassal, then click on the close button, the X on the top right. The release nation screen will still be there. Make sure you don't use the escape key now as it might close this half hanging window. The next step is to declare war on someone without friends such as Haishi. You need enough war score with them so you can offer them to release Baryatia. Then pause the game and select this option 
then send the peace offer. Now click the release subject in the half hanging window and let one day tick. And now you should have all four provinces. Then you can delete all your troops, then release and play as Ryukyu. And this is the final Ryukyu you will play as. You are now a tribe. All you need to do is complete the fifth reform to become a horde. Couple of things to keep in mind here. You could pass more government reforms earlier as they will pass quicker when there is no autonomy. Also start improving relations with couple of different nations so you can ally them soon after getting independence. You will be very vulnerable then. Next declare on Baryatya, get independence and full annex them. Get a couple of alliances as soon as possible, then just speed 5 till you have reformed to a horde. All this process takes a while and it could be done by 1500 or 1510. And after that you can just go crazy on everyone around you because horde conquests are not that hard. Now since this strategy requires an exploit, I don't know how long it will work for. Although this exploit has been around for a long time, the upcoming 1.29 patch promises to fix a lot of bugs and this might be one of them. So go ahead and use this exploit now if you want, you never know when this will go away. But if this exploit does go away, there is another way to become a step horde as Ryukyu. Although this strategy is significantly slower, it guarantees that you will become a step horde, unlike the earlier strategy where because it's a bug the results can be a bit unpredictable. For this strategy you need to push exploration ideas as quickly as possible. Then island hop and colonize your way to the Americas. Once you're next to one of the new world miners, declare a no-CV war against them, then offer to force religion on yourself. You can do this either to Nauhatl or Mayan depending on which nation you declare on. Next step is to complete all the religion reforms. With Nauhatl you need to have 5 vessels and with Mayan you need to have 20 cities. You can choose whichever is easier for you. After all religious reforms are done, you can reform your religion. That means you get 80% of tech of your neighbor and all the institutions they have embraced. Additionally, you also get their government type, which is really what we are after here. So make sure you colonize a province just north of Yeren. Once you have completed the colony, you can reform the religion. Just make sure the tooltip here says that you are reforming from Yeren and not Ming. And just like that, you are a tribe. And now you can continue the government reforms to form a horde. This strategy is significantly lengthier compared to the exploit strategy and it might take close to 1525 or 1530 or even later to become a horde with this one. And that might seem a bit late but I assure you you can still complete the three mountains achievement in time. So those are the two strategies to become a horde and play as Ryukyu. I think the current Shogunate Vassal Swarm is still the easiest strat to date to complete the three mountains achievement. And if you are achievement hunting, give that a try. Or if you're feeling adventurous, become a horde and go crazy. If Flurry can attempt to do it in 15 hours, surely you can do it playing at speed 3. As always, thank you for your time. You're watching a Radio Guide and I'll see you all in the next one.